Don in London, hello, and it's March 24th, 2009, Tuesday, time just coming up to 8 o'clock. My video is all about recovery from uh, addiction, addiction either to substance or addiction to behaviour, substance and behaviour. We can be addicted to both or one. I don't know where we make the distinction, but um, my life is far better these days without a drink inside me. I, was, I am an alcoholic in recovery. And I guess I also have certain behaviours as well, which could be classified as addictive over the years. Workaholic, relationshipaholic, also gymaholic for quite a number of years, trying to combat the impact of drink on my system. So I don't know how much I was in denial all those years, but probably quite a lot of denial, and a lot of filters introduced into my head by my thinking, my coping strategies and uh, you know we, we learn to cope with life and sometimes that's called the spiritual connection but when we devise I suppose coping strategies beyond the ordinary beyond dealing with normal life that is taking the edge off or just finding oblivion because life feels so awful then we are in a place of delusion really about our addiction and our behaviour so ge generally and gradually since I got into the fellowship of AA that's Alcoholics Anonymous my life has improved on a daily basis and really what the program does is suggest that I keep to sober a day at a time and that's how it works simply one day at a time we don't make life too big too small we don't look back at history and fear it and we don't make fear what might be our future we live with what is and it's seeing the truth of now and that really is my spiritual connection to now and it's been a, a difficult time but before I go into that um, I am a, a fellow in AA Alcoholics Anonymous I don't speak for it but I share what it has done for me so please remind I always remind myself that I don't speak for AA I just speak for my from my experience my strength and hope and uh, at the beginning of every meeting of AA and I went to one last night the preamble is shared and it goes like this Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism the only requirement for membership is the desire to stop drinking there are no dues or fees for AA membership we are self-supporting through our own contributions AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution does not wish to engage in any controversy neither endorses nor opposes any causes our primary purpose is to stay sober and help others, other alcoholics to achieve sobriety and as you can tell I've got a cold at the moment and uh, how am I feeling now at the moment well it's um, I have a funeral to go to in a little while and to pay my respect to somebody who was dear and, and looked after me in my early days and was always about and uh, a guiding hand if you like just by their presence and their calmness in the fellowship and it's a very sad day when we have to say farewell but I hope and I'm sure that it will be a celebration of the connection this person had to life and what they did and they were a very good person and the gift for me is to be able to get there without a drink inside me and just celebrate another person's life and what they have done so that is all to the good and uh, I'm just generally getting along very carefully with the people in my life I don't want to create resentment in them or anger or frustration I just want to be me and uh, find acceptance of myself and also acceptance of what is today and uh, in the AA Big Book uh, there's a passage on acceptance well just a paragraph which I'll just read this one out it's a, a longer chapter but uh, this really sums up where I am right now and acceptance is the answer to all my problems today when I am disturbed it is because I find some person, place or thing or situation, some fact of my life unacceptable to me and I can find no serenity until I accept that person, place, thing or situation as being exactly the way it is supposed to be at this moment nothing, absolutely nothing happens in God's world by mistake until I could accept my alcoholism I could not stay sober and unless I accept life completely on life's terms I cannot be happy I need to concentrate not so much on what needs to be changed in the world as on what needs to be changed in me and my attitudes and my, my, me and my attitudes in the past when faced with um, the prospect of celebrating another person's life I would fear going there and showing my feelings 
and today I don't need to fear sharing my feelings because they're, they're a sort of happy sad reflections about another person and where they are and the same applies to any particular situation in life it's life on life's terms not what I wish it to be or want it to be or would want to exert my willpower over it's just accepting how things are today and that illustrates to me where I can make choices and the simple choices we can make in life are always in the moment of now of course we need some future vision of where maybe we are headed and to do all those things on a day-to-day -day basis which require a little bit of foresight at the same time I can find out where I am my feelings, my emotional base if you like on a daily basis and that really enhances my spiritual condition which is to face the truth of now and for me all those things are predicated on trying to keep physically as active and well as I can so gently I go this, uh, this morning to uh, celebrate the life of another person and what they did for so many and the daily reflection book today and I, feature, I feature this most days on my videos, my daily video just to give, it gives a little bit of inspiration and uh, for March 24 it says active not passive before I joined AA I, did, I often did not think and reacted to people in situations when not reacting I acted when not reacting I acted in a mechanical fashion after joining AA I started seeking daily guidance from a power, power greater than myself and learning to listen for that guidance then I began to make decisions and act on them rather than react to them the results have been constructive I'm, I no longer allow others to make decisions for me and then criticize me for it today and every day with a heart full of gratitude and a desire for God's will to be done through me my life is worth sharing especially with my fellow alcoholics above all if I do not make a, a religion out of anything even AA then I can be, open, be an open channel for God's expression and as I share often you know, my way of understanding God God is truth, God is love, God works through people and that's my nuts and bolts and practical way of understanding uh, my spiritual connection to now which is without denials and filters and accepting there are powers greater than me which uh, from where I can get wisdom and then, and then share it or put it into action it is all about action after all so I find a shirt I had to go buy an iron I didn't have one I haven't worn a, a sh an iron shirt for quite a while well not since I suppose November, December last year when I went to my last funeral and uh, fortunately my brother brought me one I don't know, didn't have a shirt or a suit to uh, I suppose be at these occasions but at least I have a borrowed one and the gift is I will turn up as best I can for uh, a good reason and it's a difficult day it really is because I don't know how my feelings are going to, to show or be it's just as they may be in the moment and I know what it's like when we actually see a coffin go up the aisle and then the service will start so you know I just realize I'm just a human being I've got my feelings back and it's good that I can express them as they occur and not save them up for a later date but be they good or bad and then explode at people so today it's a, a gentle day and that serenity prayer God grant, the, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference is all about responding to life and last night with a, a step meeting all about step 10 doing a, a, an inventory of my defects on a daily basis and a gratitude list to show my upside there is always a balance in life so I need accept what is not changeable change what I can and have the wisdom to know the difference just gently and be there for other people today it's not about me it's about being part of life celebrating life and just doing it very gently in the moment of now